Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockiner. Today I talk about Microsoft canceling February patch day. Before I start, you might notice it's Friday and it's my first video this week. That's because this whole week I've been attending the RSA Security Conference. And though I sometimes try to make videos while I travel, I was just too busy during this show. Anyways, let's dive into today's story. This past Tuesday should have been Microsoft patch day. As you know, the second Tuesday of every month is when Microsoft releases their patches. However, this Tuesday they did not release anything. It's the first time that I remember that Microsoft has skipped Microsoft Patch Day. Now they do have a blog post on this saying they had to delay for technical issues and that they'll be releasing the patches on March. They don't quite say why it happened. However, some reports say anonymous insiders say that it has something to do with their patch building process or servers. In any case, there's a number of vulnerabilities in Windows and likely Office that that remain unpatched. Now how big a deal is this? Well there's some pundits out there that seem to think that we're all going to be unsafe for a month. And if any of these vulnerabilities are public or, or being spread in the wild right now, that is true. However that said, I don't think it's a huge issue that Microsoft isn't releasing these patches. It would be a much bigger issue if they release patches that broke everyone's systems. So if there is some sort of build process issue, it might be good that they delay. In any case, I do hope that next month we do see some of these patches. For instance, one of the issues seemed to be a Windows 10 SMB issue where anyone with network access to your Windows computer could put it in a denial of service state. So that is a pretty big deal. So hopefully they'll get these patches out next month. Now, while we're talking about patch day, Adobe also shares Microsoft patch day and they did release patches. In fact, they released updates for Adobe Flash, Adobe Digital Editions, and Adobe Campaign. Now, the product you're probably most familiar with is Adobe Flash. Many people that browse the internet tend to have Flash. That said, I personally try to avoid Flash nowadays as much as I can. Anyways, if you're someone that has installed Flash on your computer, do know that it suffers from a number of vulnerabilities that bad guys could leverage to take full control of your computer. Typically, cyber criminals leverage these vulnerabilities through your browser since Flash has a browser plugin. So all you really have to do is visit a wrong website and if you don't have an up-to-date version of Flash, bad guys could uh, force malware onto your computer. So long story short, Microsoft patches are coming next month. They did skip this month and if you use Adobe Flash, be sure to patch it as soon as you can. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.